we are here in Cave Point in Door County for a little plein air painting this morning. We walked from all the way from here to Whitefish Dunes a couple of minutes ago and what a beautiful walk. It just seems like whenever we come to Door County we end up seeing wildflowers that we never see back home. Even the roots of the trees and the seagulls, it's so inspiring. And the waves are crashing and I figured there's no time like now to make a painting of these rock formations. This is a small palette that I use just when I'm traveling. Of course when I'm home I use my large scale uh, painting easel. Everything that we have to paint with anyway fits right in that tote. As soon as the paints are squeezed out, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. The thing that is really attracting me to what I'm painting is the deep blue-green color of the water. The water that is in shadow from the rock over there is just this mysterious deep color. And I really want to mix that color and I really want to enjoy painting that color. So I don't have every single color that I normally use while I'm painting and I'm a little more restricted than when I'm back home. That's how it is. When you're traveling, you gotta pack light. <laughs> that way you can paint the seagulls. The first thing that I'm gonna do is pre-mix my palette. <laughs> this is weird looking up. So I've got my colors mixed and even the colors of the grasses seem to be more beautiful in Door County. I'll talk you through the colors. The lightest color was the color of the sky. Um, the top of the rocks and also the water, the lighter part of the water, were the same value, and those are those two colors. This is the color of the grass that, this is the color of the grass that is in the foreground. This is, there's kind of a lighter part of the rocks and a darker part of the rocks. This is the lighter part of the rocks in shadow. And this is the color of the trees, the pine trees. This color here, is the there's some rocks that are under the water and it's just a really warm color in contrast to the same rocks that are not underwater and then here's the two different shades of the rocks this is the two different colors of the rocks in shade a warmer bit and a cooler bit and then this is that lovely lovely emerald green deep water in shadow i've got most of my palette mixed up i think it's time to start laying this painting in halfway done I've got the whole panel covered with paint but this is the point in the painting where I'm really gonna come back through and restate those rocks restate the water and capture a lot of the colors that I'm seeing out there it's a colorful scene and because of the prismatic quality of the light and the water and the sky you kind of have to put some things down react to it and then put some more things on top it's gonna create that broken color effect and it's really gonna give a lot of life and light to the painting. So let's keep moving. There's a light rain starting to fall on us. 
It hasn't stopped anybody who's out here today from having a great time. You can see the painting, overcast skies. I just love the way that Lake Michigan seems to go on forever on a day like this. There's hardly any separation between the lake and the sky. But what a great day to be sitting here with the waves crashing. There's a, a area right down there that you can see through. You can just barely see through to the water on the other side. It's right down there and there it is now. Oh, it is starting to rain kind of hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get packed up. Is there paint all over my face? A little bit. There's just a fun amount of paint on my face. I had a great time coming out here. I always love painting at Cave Point. And thanks to Bella for sticking with me for this whole time. When I set up, I told her it was just going to be maybe an hour of painting, but I think we're both hungry for lunch right now. We're going to keep enjoying our Door County experience from Cave Point County Park in Jacksonport, Door County. We're in Sister Bay at the Door County Ice Cream Factory. This is a really famous ice cream parlor in Door County and this white delivery van has been parked out front of the ice cream shop for as long as I can remember and I think it goes back into the 1950s. We've got a great overcast afternoon to paint. There's a lot of white in my subject. It almost seems like everything is white in my subject matter. We've got a white delivery van against a off-white wall with a white sky. Even the pavement seems like it might be somewhat white. But the thing is, everything is a different shade of white. Everything is slightly different, and that's gonna be kind of fun to paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my colors I'm gonna mix all those different whites. It for today. This is the Door County Ice Cream Factory delivery van. It's been kind of raining on me the whole time I've been painting, but nothing too terrible. And I think I did a decent job capturing a lot of those different whites that make up the delivery van and also the building. This was a lot of fun to get out here and paint this afternoon. There's not too much else going on on a rainy afternoon in Door County. Might as well get some painting out of the way. We have a scene of Wilson's right behind me today. And you can see that there's some, some clouds and some sun. And if there's one place to be painting in midsummer, it's Wilson's in Ephraim. Everybody loves to come here and get their ice cream cones during the summertime. This is the last painting that I'm working on during our Door County vacation. Let's get started.
it shows that this little bit of rain is just gonna pass right by us and then we'll be back to sunny conditions. So I'm gonna lay this painting in just like as if it was sunny, just like as if it was the nicest day in the world. <laughs> 